Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this time I'm gonna uh, teach you all of you how to remake the stand so you have like an infinite amount of things on here so it will auto load and do all that stuff. So and this will be part one of doing that. So because I could spend so long trying to figure out how to do this. So uh, we'll start off by deleting every single stand except one stand. Just like this. Every single stand will go, and uh, let's remake this. So see how we have these five slots? Delete them. Oh, and also, uh, before we start, uh, this is based off of, off of a previous model, which is in the description, and uh, the live donations model has been added to that model, so yeah. And uh, let's start doing this, okay? So see, now we have this please donate thing, empty thing. We're going to find this part, middle part. And we're going to call this, uh, item display, I guess. Then we're going to insert a surface GUI and then a scrolling frame. Uh, see how we can't see the surface yet? That's probably because it's on a different... No, go away. That's probably because it's on a different part of the thing. No, oops, oops, uh, bro. Let's go on to the back. No. Okay. The <laughs> face will be back. Okay. Now, for the scroll bar size, it's going to be, okay, we're going to do 0 0.9 comma 0 comma 0 0.8 comma 0. So it's kind of like that. So the position will be uh, 0 comma 0 0.1 for, no, 0 0.1 comma 0, or, no, 0 0.05 comma 0, like that, and then 0 0.1 uh, comma 0 for this. So it's like that, and then backward transparency will be 1. Board sex pistol will be zero, but then see how we want it to be vertical, right? So we're just gonna make the camera size two comma zero comma zero comma zero. Boom, it's on the bottom. Simple as that. Okay. So now in this scrolling frame, we're gonna insert a frame. We're gonna call this a uh, donation. Uh, no wait, we're gonna. What are we gonna call this? We're gonna call this a uh, donation frame. Okay, this will just be a donation frame. So now uh, we're gonna make uh, the size. Yep, zero comma one hundred, zero comma one hundred. So now we're just gonna make this. Uh, we're gonna insert a UI corner. Okay. Oh no no. Oops. We're just gonna make this background transparency one. Okay. And then we're gonna insert a text button here, and we're gonna call this the purchase button. Button just like that. And then we're gonna make the size 0 0.8 comma 0 comma 0.8 comma 0. So it's like that. No, actually, no. Let's do 0 0.9. 0 0.9 comma 0 comma 0 0.9 comma 0. Okay. And then let's just quickly uh, make uh, this background just so we can center it in here. And let's just make this uh, purchase button. Oops. No, no. Okay. Let's make it a green so we can see the difference. So let's change the posi position to uh, 0, 0.1, no, 0.1, comma 0, no, 0 0.05, comma 0, and then also 0 0.05, comma 0, so it's like that. So now with this, we're going to make the background transparency 1, okay? We're going to make this look better. In the purchase bed, we're going to insert a UI corner. Uh, we're going to make the corner radius 0, comma 10. Then we're gonna just uh, do a text scaled and just gonna do zero or dollar just like that and just to make it look better. Okay? See, now we have this. So we will take this donation frame and put it in uh, this proximity prompt script over here and we'll delete this click detector since we'll no longer need that. Okay? And now we're just gonna. Quickly insert one local script into starter GUI. We're gonna call this a uh, click button. Basically, because these are text buttons, we're gonna have to make this uh, happen locally. Oh, yeah, and also uh, one more thing: in this purchase button, we're gonna want to want to insert an int value. Okay, and we're gonna call this uh, asset ID, so we know what ID it is. Just like that. So now uh, let's just. Bro, what the heck am I doing? No. What am I doing? Okay, so we're just going to do this. We're going to do local function 
purchase and then we okay so we're gonna do spawn function just like this okay so we're gonna do uh, we dot mouse button one click this will all make sense once the script is done okay click connect function oops okay and then game dot marketplace service prompt product purchase game dot players a local player no 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 just prompt purchase oops okay uh, game dot players a local player comma v dot asset id dot value okay there's gonna be two more things now we're gonna do for i we in pairs workspace get descendants so everything in workspace if we dot name equals equals to purchase button then purchase v okay and then we're also going to do workspace dot descended added connect function oh let's do like obj for object okay and then we're going to do if obj dot name equals equals to purchase button then purchase obj okay so now uh, as you can see so basically what this purchase function does is it takes the thing and it prompts the id dot value the asset id that's in the part so here it just gets everything in workspace and sees if the button name is purchase button and then it just sends it to uh, like if they click it over here and then same thing over here and now for the final script that we have to modify and this will be the end of part one bro i spent so much time on this okay so first of all we're going to delete this line the for id section in the proximity prompt script okay and we're going to add a few locals to the top so we're going to do local hs equals to game get servers http servers and uh make sure in game settings in security that you have allow http service okay and then also we're going to do local URL equals to, okay, now this is going to be hard, HTTPS semicolon slash slash catalog dot row proxy dot com slash v1 slash search slash, wait, wait, let's make this bigger for you. Okay, slash search, slash items, slash details, okay, question mark, category, equals to, three, and, and symbol, creator, name, and then it equals, just like that okay that was big okay so now we're also gonna do uh, over here a uh, local items list frame equals to script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot items no yeah the autumn display dot uh, surface UI dot scrolling frame Oh guys, so also see this donation frame, we're, we're gonna insert that there and then we're gonna put the purchase money inside there, that donation frame. I forgot that was part of it. Okay. So now we're gonna uh, edit this code. Okay. So now we're gonna do local data equals to HS and then uh, semicolon JSON uh, decode. Okay, HS get a sync URL dot dot player dot name and then at the end dot data. No no capitals. Okay, so now we're gonna do if data okay we're gonna uh, take all of this and we're gonna put it inside here. See? Put it inside there. 
So then we're going to do, over here, we're going to insert a few lines of code and we will be done with part one. So we're going to, uh, part one of this remaking the sand model, okay? So we're going to do table.sort data, comma, okay? And then we're just going to do enter. Just saying that this table.sort thing, uh, this is from a different, uh, script that I was finding while I was trying to research this, just saying that I did not make this part. Okay, so we're going to do function. A comma B okay now we're gonna do return a dot, a dot price and then the less than symbol B dot price this is all it is this table dot sort function okay okay and now for the final part and we'll be done so we're gonna do for I comma items in pairs data do local new donate donation button equals to script up donation frame clone okay and then we're gonna do new donation button dot purchase button dot text equals oh no wait let's just go line down okay equals to item items dot price make sure it's all lowercase dot dot space uh r dollars just like this and then we're gonna do uh a new donation button dot donation button i mean dot purchase button oops dot uh dot asset id dot value equals to item dot id no lower no uh, all lowercase again and then new do, uh new donation button dot parent equals to uh items list frame and then uh items list frame also this canvas size thing was not mine dot canvas size equals to udim2 dot new zero comma items list frame dot UI list layout no yeah items list frame dot UI list layout just like this capital UI capital L capital L layout dot absolute content size dot X and then comma zero comma zero and guys I think we will be done okay so uh, let's see if this works. I'm just saying this only works for shirts. Okay, I think shirts. Yeah, this only works for shirts. Claim. Okay, so I only see one thing on. UI list layout is not a valid member of the scrolling frame. Okay, let's let's see what I did wrong. Okay, where's the- okay, so if we go to the scrolling... And we- hmm... I'm confused. Okay, let's see what we did wrong. Oh, let's undo this, bruh. Okay, I don't just- okay, where's the UI list layout? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, I see the problem. So, uh, in this donation frame, oh uh, no. So, in the scrolling frame, you have to also insert a UI list layout. Bro, I completely forgot that. You have to insert a UI list layout, okay? I completely forgot, okay? You're gonna make the sort order by name, and then you're gonna make the fill direction horizontal. Just like that. I'm sorry. I forgot to insert that UI list layout. I'm so stupid. Okay? That's what it is. Okay? So it like it just makes it like all stacked. Okay, and then we're gonna do if I press claim. Oh look, everything's there. Ten Robux, fifty Robux, and all everything. Everything is there. So uh next part of this I'll teach you how to sync it to the most raised, most donated, the live donations, the nuke and like to sync it to the donation sign and yeah and how to make everything reset when it leaves 
Like, I'm, I spent so much time trying to make this. So, yeah, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye!